you won't believe which coins Binance are taking off of their exchange. That's what we're talking about today. If you guys are interested, hit like, hit subscribe, check out the CT Club down below. There's a link there where you can check out our portfolio updates, trade alerts, which coins we are buying that makes this bear market not really seem like a bear market. There are profits to be made and we've managed to find some. Check out the CT Club for more on that. So Binance is like the largest cryptocurrency exchange in terms of trading volume. The amount of trades happening on Binance is more, it eclipses like all other exchanges, but whether or not that trading volume is real is, is yet to be seen. There's definitely a lot of uh, assumptions that it's fake volume. But anyway, regardless, Binance is a huge player in this cryptocurrency space. Binance is a centralized exchange, and as such, they have a lot of control over which coins are listed and which coins they delist. Most of the time, exchanges like Binance or any centralized exchange choose to delist coins because their trading volume is very low. They're just not generating profit or whatever. There's maybe other problems with the project in question. But Binance is converting all balances of USDC, USDP, and TUSD. So USD coin from Circle, USDC, a very popular one. Uh, TUSD is true USD, and USDP is Paxos dollar. All three of these stable coins that are currently available to deposit, withdrawal, and trade on Binance at the time of, uh, uh, after September 29th, so September 29th is the day this is all gonna happen, if you have a balance of any of those stable coins, they will be converted into BUSD, which is Binance's specifically stable coin. Also, if you're trading USDC, TUSD, USDP on Binance, you won't be able to trade those anymore against uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Atom, Link, a lot of different altcoins you're not gonna be able to be trading these coins on. And so what they're doing is they're consolidating all of the stable coin transactions and, and trading volume into BUSD. They're trying to pump up their own stable coin. It's a centralized exchange, they have the power to do it. It's going about as well, it's going over about as well as a lead balloon uh, to all the people on Twitter after they made this announcement. Uh, also, one thing to note is they aren't touching USDT, Tether. I believe you will still be able to deposit, withdrawal, trade Tether on Binance. But here's the thing, is uh, after September 29th, I believe you will still be able to deposit USDC, TUSD, and USDP onto Binance. But again, once you do so, it's going to be automatically converted into BUSD for your trades. On the reverse, when you want to withdraw, you will go to your BUSD balance, make a withdrawal, and I believe from there you will able to, you'll be able to choose if you want to withdraw in the form of BUSD or the like original stablecoin that you had deposited onto Binance. Kind of crazy that they're doing this much control over stablecoins, and they're definitely showing their hands of. Uh, wanting really badly BUSD to be have a much larger market share of cryptocurrencies. Uh, not exactly the most inspiring thing to be seeing play out in this decentralized cryptocurrency space. Uh, Binance has a history of throwing their centralized weight around uh, in what year was it? 20. 17, I believe it was 2018 maybe, uh, Binance took their users' funds in Steam and used that voting power to help Justin Sun overtake the Steam blockchain. Also what happened was Binance purchased CoinMarketCap.com, a very popular website where people check out the status, the status of a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And immediately after that acquisition, a lot of the data on CoinMarketCap suddenly changed to favor Binance. So this is just another you know, uh, behavior pattern from Binance for those of you who are paying attention. Anyway, keep an eye out for that. Don't be shocked if your USDC balance is suddenly gone on Binance and you now just have BUSD. You will be able to withdraw in the form of USDC if you want to in the future, but you can't trade it on Binance anymore. All right, that's it. Thanks guys, hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you later.